Hey guys, my name is J.O. Gimpy Dwarf and welcome to another Space Engineer Spotlight video of sorts. But this video is more like a testing video because it will be going up in the normal Space Engineers playlist. So, it's literally just going to be episode 24. So, just to get that confusion out of the way, straight off the bat, this is more of a testing video than anything else. Um, so, now I showed you the foldable landing gear concept before. That was last week, and Friday I actually started building some things, but never got round to finishing them. Um, and I, I came across a slight issue with the one idea. Um, I've tweaked with it now a little bit to make it a little bit different, but unfortunately others have done it on YouTube now, sadly. But I'm still going to show you guys what I did anyway. This ship here is um, not the ship that has been done on YouTube yet. Um, but this ship is basically um, very, very, very special to me. Reason why is because if I pull her out, just ignore everything going on in the foreground there, background, whatever. If I pull her out, you'll see she's a normal ship like any other. But if I swivel around, zoom her in, um, you'll start to notice something weird in a second. So if I select this, actually if I just select this and reverse them, something pops out the bottom. What is this I hear you ask? This is a rocket pod. And guess what? This idea does not work yet. What's wrong with it I hear you ask? Basically I hit G and all there is is the machine guns that are on the wings. Uh, it doesn't actually recognize that the rocket pods or machine guns are actually on the attached rotor so you cannot fire them so I'm just you know just can't even fire a bullet right now but that was basically the idea and it was really sad that it didn't work um, I like the idea I like the idea of being how being able to have like a transformable ship that has um, like you know weapons that come out the side or engines that can come out of the ship rather than you going into the ship to uh, to give it fuel so that's one of the ideas um, that I came up with and again that one doesn't work as well yeah it works but it doesn't work if that makes any sense so that was the first idea anyway the second idea also doesn't work <laughs> there's, there seems to be a recurring theme today um, this was basically a small ship um, and basically you've got a cockpit at the back as you can see there lots of forward thrust, some sideways thrust, under th underneath thrust and a large claw like thing with two grinds on the front what does this do exactly? this is meant to grind into the side of a ship and then basically expand and it, it kind of works but it works very slowly on large ships because it's a small ship against a large ship so there's more parts to grind off it so this doesn't work but the idea is there and I think I may re like replicate this as a large ship design um, or just make something that is just without the rotors and maybe make something that can just lodge itself in some other way but that again that idea does not work currently unfortunately um, well, it just doesn't work anyway because of the the actual design of how the blocks go together and how many blocks are in, how many parts are inside a block. So that idea is complete poop. Now this design actually works, but this is the design that is actually already on YouTube now. It's it's not this design isn't on YouTube, but the similar concept is there on YouTube from other YouTubers. But if you don't know what this does, it basically is a giant claw-like thing with lots of grinders on the front. And what its main objective is to do is to latch onto the side of a ship, grapple with said hooks on the side, grind in, stick itself and allow a boarding party, which are inside that door as you can see, there's four seats in there, and basically they can um, jump out and attack. And that's basically the premise of, that, of this ship, but I'm going to try and demonstrate to you now if I can. Okay, slow ram engage.
Alright, now, as you can see, we are penetrating the eye ocean. Now, ideally, when you get to the stage, when it gets very noisy, obviously, look at that, you then release your death claw. The death claw is this, and you basically turn these on to reverse and basically go for it. And check this out. <laughs> it is basically a death grip. You get it in sometimes anyway, if you can get grip. Um, let's just reverse the claw. Keep going. Arrgh. It's more like, uh, I don't know, like, again, I'm trying to make it into a boarding ship, so we're trying to go in from the bottom here. Um, we've, got a, we've got a latch on it now, which is good. So now we can turn the full force of the death grip on, which will begin to cut into the sides and disable your sort of landing area. If you notice, it's actually cutting through the landing area. So you you're kind of disrupting the enemy's uh, way of getting ships out. <laughs> okay, so if you jump out of her now and get up to this door, I'm hoping to see a nice hole that we can kind of breach through. Haha! <laughs> see, so she has made a comfortable hole for the enemy, for for our crew to jump in through and just basically breach and start attacking from. So that's basically the idea. Now, if you notice on the side, it's actually disrupted the enemy's uh, engines over here. Um, it's disrupted the way of getting round as well. You just, you just cannot cross that hole normally. It's cut through into the engine bays. And I think I'll actually just go back round and turn her on so all the claws just keep going. And these claws should eventually drop off, which is kind of a design feature that I've added. Um, it's, it's something that happens normally anyway, but it's something that I kind of thought was an added bonus. Because once they're done, they're done, and you cannot go any further. So... If we just literally stick this on again to come in for the attack, and we'll see what it does. So, oh wow, it's just beautiful seeing this. It's it's just gorgeous. Look at this. Oh my god. And let's just hope they break off before they destroy the ship itself, because they will fold in on each other and start to grind each other off. Here we go. So that one stopped. That one's come to a stop. I think that one's broken off. Yeah, but they keep going. <laughs> that one's broken off, but they keep going. They've literally just tore the crap into the ship. Oh, I think I need to use grinders in more friggin' attacks. I mean, look at that. <laughs> look at that. That is horrific. I mean, that would put your ship out of, out of action for a while. Um, but what I think I may do now is I may take off the... Um, I'm going to basically demonstrate how these sort of ships can disable your ship's command really easily now. Um, by basically... The Iushin's got a perfect example, so has the Dornia. I changed the designs up ever since, but the, they have this like pod where the main command is. Uh, I'm basically going to load the world back up again and show you how um, devastating they can be and maybe then do a... actually I'll probably do a rear attack first and then a top attack but I probably won't do the voiceover, I'll just show you guys. Can the Ayushin even go forward anymore? No one really knows. But I would say no. Because that one ship that's like, I don't know, 15 times smaller than this just literally ripped it in your anus. And that damage, how extensive is it to the back end of the ship? 
You can't notice it back here. But why would you? The engines are so far back that you just keep going, just keep going, and next thing you know, you'd just you'd have power still, sure. You'd have all these gyros and things, sure. But would you have any forward thrust? You've got like one engine there that barely works. You have literally one engine left. You won't get, but you won't be getting away any anytime soon. That's so sad. <laughs> it's so sad to see the Ocean in such a bad state. But that's the power of a grapple ship like this. And I'm going to show you now the top, and then that will be the end of this video. So I'll see you guys in a bit. And there you go. It's just chewing up the rest of those blocks. So grind us off. Let's go survey the damage. So I could safely say if you were commanding this, oh, you'd actually survive for the most part. Um, but if you placed your claw a bit better, maybe had you know one draping that way one draping that way two draping down the side you may have broken it a bit better but that to me would easily cripple the ship and the f oh wow it's just devastating <laughs> that would just screw you over so much and how much effort it would have taken to build the ship in survival as well that would have really screwed you over but again for the ship's size it it's it's nothing it's not a big cost compared to this so I think I'll leave it there guys um, if you guys have enjoyed this video ooh, please like favor and of course subscribe the button is at the end please go click it you'll see everything that comes out and I'll see you guys later peace <laughs>